How about game one? What a game. Man, it was something to see. This, was, this might have been one of the best Jason games of the season. Tatum. This was definitely one of the best games of the season. Boston at Indiana. That oh, oh, on fire. Oh, Jalen Brown. A hell of a hezzy, Ernie. That was. This is, this is the number one offensive team, Indiana, and they're the number 30 defensive team taking on the number two defensive team in Boston. That, Man. That don't mean nothing. Nice help defense. Again. Yeah, at some point, as Shaq hey. would say, you have to do what, Shaq? Get timely stops. Well, first of all, they just shoot layups. They just, we just saw three layups in a row. That's right, but they're supposed to be the second most defensive well, that's that, Listen, that's nothing you can do when a guy hitting shots like that. That is Halliburton, and here comes Jason Tatum. Hey, oh, feel free to come over. And, and ladies and gentlemen, if you think Halliburton, when you see this second half highlights, this is something that he just got hot. Yeah, no, but that's no. nothing you this can do about that. This is what he's been doing all season. Yeah, he's been great all year, but that's nothing you can do. When guys are making shots like that, you just shake their hand. Indiana outscored Boston 37-23 to in the third quarter to grab the lead. Obi Toppin, you hear that whistle, go ahead and grab him. But finish oh. that young man finish. No way. Halliburton. Get this little dude off of me. Turner. One point game. Oh my God. Boston on top. Oh, bully ball. Tatum. Man. Put it down there. So they're up three. Tough but shot. 30 oh, to get that float back. Run Hold by on. Indiana. Halliburton there. Halliburton on the drive. Man. Rumble, young man rumble. Mm -mm. And then TJ McConnell has that swing thing swatted, but into the hands of Buddy Heald, who knocks down the three. He played great today. Yeah, they can shoot that thing. Okay. Indiana up seven, going to the fourth quarter. Ben Matherin. He played uh, well as well. They got a bunch of guys that can shoot it, and if, when it's going in, it's beautiful. To do it. it was beautiful to watch. Jalen Brown for three. Game tied at 94. There were 15 ties and 16 lead changes in oh, this game. Oh, oh, wait, 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 no way. Wait, wait. Man, that's just whew, nothing you can do, buddy. Two-point game. Jason Tatum. Hey, here's another one of those ties. 105 apiece. 32, 12, and 6. His ninth game of at least 30. And then Halliburton for three and the foul. He's got that Dude. Jason Kidd change of direction where he feels just so fast. 26, 10, and 13 with no turnovers for Tyrese Howard. Healed there. And they were sight. Look and at this bench. Turnover. And this. Aaron Neesmith, the former Celtic. Look at that bench, man. That's at basketball. 14 on. Say what? These Pacers, they made Reggie Miller proud. 122 to 112 is your final score. Celtics turned the ball over 18 times. What's impressive too, Indiana, for as fast as they play, only six turnovers in this game, wow. and they win it by 10. They outscore the Celtics 74 to 57 in the second half. You know who's working that game for us? Who's that? Stephanie Reddy. Let's hear from her. Here in Indiana for the first quarterfinal game of the in-season tournament. And it was Tyrese Halliburton and the Indiana Pacers that will advance to the semifinals in Las Vegas. It took Halliburton to score his first career triple-double. And surprisingly, it was the defense of the Indiana Pacers that made the difference in the end. Jason was doing a really good job of putting me in the action and attacking me in that first half. Um, so we did a good job of uh, changing it up a little bit and figuring it out defensively. Um, and, you know, if we just get a couple stops, we're going to run, and nobody wants to run with us when we're getting stops. We've talked all season about the depth of this team, and, uh, yeah, we're just going to come out here and compete and playing defense. When you have a balanced scoring, I think that it's just basketball math, basketball science, whatever you want to call it. Guys compete harder on defense, you know. So when we all feel involved and we all, you know, this guy leads the league in assists, you know, the more and more he gets guys involved or whatnot, it just makes you human nature. It makes you want to compete harder on the other end of the floor. We're playing a style that, you know, is, 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 a, is not only a fun style to watch, but it's a fun style for our players to play. This is something that's great for us because we need high-level competition. And it's, it really is another thing that's a simulator of playoff basketball. We've wanted to be in this situation all year, and here we are. And, you know, now it's not just about being here, it's about winning. So we're, uh, we're excited to get to Vegas and um, play some more defense. How about Tyrese Halliburton talking defense, 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 and you see 25, 
10 rebounds, 10 assists, and no turnovers in a game at the age of 23 or younger. That's a, uh, that's a short list. Well, you know, Ernie, that's the only question mark with these guys if they're going to play in a defense. You know, they're number one in offense and number 30 in defense. Like, if they play defense, man, they going to score. I mean, but you, you, but, but see, the, the, the reason you gonna, you're always going to be inconsistent because the hardest thing in, to do in basketball is shoot a basketball. Like the best shooters in the world, uh, <laughs> on the, the, on the best shooters in the world, they're not going to make every shot. So the nights they're not making shots, they're going to have to play defense. But if they start adding defense to they, their team, the nights they aren't making shots, they're going to still be competitive. I heard you chuckle over here, big fella. Because he's what? drunk again. You know, they're leading the league in scoring one, they're making shots, a lot of fast break points. So, again, if they get timely, stop, listen, they're not going to go from 30 to number two. Those numbers don't matter anyway. You saw, everybody saw, when it was 105 to 105, they went on that 9 0 run. They're going to score. When they're hot, they're definitely hard to beat. But if you can get timely stops in timely situations, you can go far. I also, I agree, I hear what you're saying, Chuck, but I have to agree with Shaq in this regard, meaning when you play a faster style of play, your coaching staff and yourself have to say, we're going to be in transition sometime, and we're not going to be able to find people. And can I live with that? You have to say, I'm going to live with the fact that I'm shooting the ball faster, which in terms that sometimes there will be long rebounds, and we will not be able to get back in transition and guard our man. And they're going to get easy baskets. But we're banking on the fact that we're going to shoot at a high clip because I have Halliburton, Miles Turner, Sol Buddy Hill down the line that will make it at a high clip to keep me in the game to get timely stops. You have to, you have to accept that. Now, being 30 might not be it, not even but 20, 21? 15. 15 is too, not at the style of pace that they're playing. It'd be too difficult because you because what happens is you shoot the basketball and you now you're shooting and your man is leaving. So you have you're getting cross matchups and you're not seeing. So you're going to have to live with it. If you can get to 20, you're going to win a round in a series and you might win two rounds. But you know, if, but you you have to get to 20. I don't think they're going to beat the elite teams in, unless they get to 15. Because if you have, if you go back and look at the game. Every highlight we showed, the Celtics was laying the ball in. And there was never anybody who came over to help. You have to live with that. No, you, you can't live with guys getting layups because you're not going to. You, know, you said all these guys are good shooters, but they're not going to make enough shots in 82 games in the playoffs to advance. That's just yeah, my personal like, opinion. They, that don't mean I'm right. That's my personal opinion. They came in allowing 126 a game. Boston scores 112 tonight. And when the Pacers hold you under 125, they're 8-2. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> also 5-0 and oh in the tournament, but 6-8 and eight the rest of the season. Play another tournament. Picking their spots, man. What about the after season? So tournament? they're in. New Orleans is in. They'll be joined by two more tomorrow night. Overpowering, over the top, what you see? Uptowering, wrecking shot, win.